I still perfectly remember all this commotion in the West and the ranks of the key of authorities when Russia began using the so-called high-power smart bombs Fab 500 in mid-February. Those who know little about military affairs and do not understand what a Fab 500 is, most likely will not understand the full power and seriousness of this bomb. The bombs of the FAB series are considered the most powerful in the world, and carpet bombing with these bombs is capable of wiping out cities of any size from the face of the earth. That is why the key of authorities and their Western patrons were so alarmed. The West began to suspect that Russia was preparing to launch a tactic of harsh carpet bombing of Ukrainian territory, which would inevitably lead to the surrender of the pro-Western authorities of Ukraine. However, the reality turned out to be different. Russia still refuses to use indiscriminate and carpet bombing of Ukraine. As it turned out, the Russian aerospace forces began using Fab 500 bombs to destroy enemy strongholds. The effectiveness of these bombs turned out to be so high that the Russians decided to use much more powerful Fab 1000 bombs. On June 25, during a regular briefing, the Ministry of Defense announced the destruction of several Ukrainian strongholds, located at a depth of 30 meters. The complete destruction of these strongholds of the Ukrainian army shocked the Western military, as these concrete strongholds built according to NATO standards at a depth of 30 meters were considered impregnable. Moreover, the Russians supplied the FAB-1000 bombs with special directional modules and improved wings, which significantly increased the accuracy of these bombs. Moreover, all this allowed the Russian pilots to launch these bombs at enemy targets without entering the dangerous air defense zone. Witnesses claim that the blast wave from these bombs overturned heavy tanks, located at a distance of 400 meters. These bombs also have a psychic effect on the enemy by suppressing the will of the soldiers. Eyewitnesses claim that even the trenches are not able to save soldiers from the explosive wave of FAB 1000 bombs. Russia is also armed with more powerful bombs such as FAB 3000, FAB 5000, and even FAB 9000, capable of turning an area equal to Manhattan Island into dust. At the moment, the Russian army is gaining invaluable experience in conducting combat operations against NATO forces. Every day, Russians improve their skills in destroying not only NATO weapons, but also NATO military installations. In my opinion, this is also one of the reasons why the ongoing conflict is so beneficial to Moscow, and personally to the supreme commander of the armed forces of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin.